New at 430, four days after a Suffolk school bus flipped on its side with 12 students on board, some of those students are still recovering. We told you Monday this happened on Cypress Chapel Road around 930 when that bus was headed to Southwestern Elementary School. Suffolk police told 13 News Now there were minor injuries. Now we're hearing from one mom who says her son's injuries were more than minor. Sarah Hammond joins us in the studio to tell us more. Well, the woman I spoke to who wished to remain anonymous says she first heard about that crash on social media Monday morning. She says her 10 year old son was taken to CHKD to have emergency surgery for a significant wound on his back. A Suffolk mother recounts her son's story of being on the Suffolk school bus that flipped on its side Monday morning. All I remember is I hit the window and then I hit the floor and then I hit the ceiling. He goes, I was telling everybody it was okay. He goes, I noticed my shirt was ripped. And he said, I put my hand where the hole was, and he goes, and I saw blood, and he goes, I screamed. The 10-year-old's mother, who asked to remain anonymous, says that's when first responders took him to the hospital. Though both the school division and police department said all of the injuries on the bus were minor, she said her son had emergency surgery. Chunk of skin removed from his lower back um, where bone was exposed. He, he also has a surgical drain in there right now. She says her son is back home resting now, but they still don't know what caused that crash. While she's not looking to place blame until they know exactly what happened, she says she wishes she'd known what happened that morning sooner. It's upsetting um, that it was almost an hour um, before I'd gotten notified, and even then, I found out through social media. This Suffolk mother of three says she'll be driving her son to school when he's able to return. He begged us to not make him ride the bus anymore. She also thanks the first responders and the family who took in her son and the 11 other students until help arrived. It's hard as a parent to know that your child was scared and had a terrifying thing happen and you weren't there. And I am indebted to them and I am forever grateful for them. She says her son has another doctor's appointment next week to hopefully get that wound drain out and getting one step closer to returning to school. Back to you. Sarah, thanks. We did reach out to Suffolk Police and Suffolk Public Schools to learn more about the potential cause of the crash, but have not yet heard back.